Welcome to Tinker Tail 2. Our deep play group goals are to investigate tools and strategies and to incorporate STEM. I am personally focusing on gamification and game-based learning. The readings that we are going to do is STEM Lesson Essentials and The Game Believes in You. I am going to read The Game Believes in You, which is a story of how these visionaries try to get controllers into the hands of learners. I'm really excited to read it. A community I joined is the EdWeb Learning Community. It's great because it has a game-based learning part component of it where they have webinars and they have even um, like a link where you can see different collections of games to use with your students. I am using two math programs. One of them is Wowzers. Wowzers, you can select a path for your students. You can change each student so you can see um, their content level. They can watch remediation videos. You can take a growth assessment. You can see the report on how, um, what standards they've mastered, if they're doing well, they're struggling, or need to revisit. It also groups them on RTI levels. So here you can see I have two students on my Tier 3 and one student on Tier 2. Um, not all my students are on here yet. They just start playing. Um, day to day, here's day one of one concept. I can skip or move ahead as well. So maybe I want to skip um, the actual practice or I just want them to do the tryout. Here is an example of what it looks like for place value. And here is what they have to do with the game. So this one actually involves science as well. And here is one of their quizzes, what they would have to do. So they would have to answer this number and find um, the place value. Another game, which is a free one, while there's, um, you have to pay, is Prodigy. Prodigy is kind of like a Pokemon type of game. Here you can see how many um, answers the students answered and how many were correct. You can select what Common Core grade that you want to give them. So if you have lower students, you can just move the Common Core lower or higher for higher students. I can give them assignments based off of the concept and view reports. And it tells me which skills they're struggling for the week. And again, this is free, which is fantastic. Here is one of my students' games. Um, here is his little creature that he created or avatar. Um, he can choose different worlds and actually have his friends play in the same world or he can play offline in a different world. And again you're on a quest and you're attacking these little other creatures using spells and once you attack them you get a question and if you get it correct then you beat them in that attack. If you get it incorrect, then you lost in that attack. So here's a type of question. It's great because it also reads it to you. It can give you a hint. And you can also have scratch um, paper on the side, basically, to write this. This is a web-based ga game as well, so you can play this on a tablet or on a computer. And here is a video from one of my students um, talking about the programs that we just used. How do you think having games included in math is going to help you? How do you think they'll help you learn? Right, what game are we playing in the classroom? Which one do you like better? Bowser's. Why? Because you get to create your own person. Oh, you get to create your own person? Do you think it's going to help you in math? You're really good in math. Do you think it will help you push in math? So what types of questions are you hoping to find in Wowzers? Uh, fraction, division, problems, multiplication, decimals. Right. And how is that different than using pencil and paper? Because you don't have to write down everything. So like what, maybe explain Wowzers for people that don't know. Oh, Prodigy. Explain Prodigy. Like taking this journey around. And how do you pass? By casting spell, you have to answer the math problem correctly. Alright, that's cool. So, are you excited to use the tablets in the classroom with the games? Yes. Yeah. Alright, thank you. I am hoping that using games in the classroom makes math more exciting, especially for those students that are really maybe they don't like math. 
it gives them a component that they like. They're creating an avatar. They don't have to use pencil and paper. It's different for them.